Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, what I'm going to do is to show you what Peanut Lab is. Peanut Lab is a network simulator like GNS3, like Eve Next Generation, like Viral from Cisco. But there are a lot of perks that you receive when you download Peanut Lab and all these perks are for free. You know that Eve Next Generation has two versions. One of them is a the community version, which has uh, good features for uh, for a starter that's going to be very nice but if you want more features what you need to do is to go and buy the pro version you have to pay something monthly or annually but every feature that you can think of in eve pro you can receive it in peanut app for free that's very nice and you are not just limited for those features you have a lot of other perks that i'm going to show you but before doing anything, what I'm going to ask you is to click on that subscribe button. Also, there is a bell button there. If you click on that and activate that, anytime that I post a new video, you're going to receive it as soon as possible. Give me a thumbs up too. That's going to encourage me to create more of these kind of videos for you. So if you just type Pnet in Google, this is going to give you this website, pnetlab.com. You can open it and that's going to uh, show you a lot of labs that people have created and uploaded there. That's a very nice thing because you can download their labs for some small fee or a lot of them are free. So you can just go for that. If you just scroll down, you can see that there are lots of features here. The nicest one is this one that says it is free. But you can see there are lots of features here that you can only find in pro version of Eve Next Generation. It's a very beautiful, nice icons. And I, I believe that the interface is much cleaner than Eve Next Generation interface. So let's go here. If you click on download, now this is going to open for you in this. It's going to give you a few steps to download that. If you just go down, it's going to tell you how you can just import this OVA into VMware Workstation. Also, you can import it into VirtualBox, which is a free uh, virtualization environment and it doesn't have all the complications of a VMware virtual machine. In VMware you can just open this or you can click on the file itself and, and this is a file that I have downloaded before peanut lab 4.2.10 that is the latest version for now. Uh, you might see a newer version. All I need to do is to click on this. If I have VMware that's going to give me this window and it says what the name of the virtual machine is going to be, also where you want to save this virtual machine. All you need to do is to choose this directory and then click on import. That's going to be imported for you. And after that, you need to make some modifications to that. I already have imported this here, but I'm going to show you how you can modify this. First of all, this is VMware Workstation version 16, but the peanut lab, which is going to be imported, has a lower version. You can upgrade it, you can keep it that way, it doesn't matter what. Uh, I have upgraded that. Here, you can click on a processor or a memory, or you can just go and click on edit virtual machine setting, which is much better because it's going to give you all the settings that you have here. You see that I have allocated something like 12 gigabits of memory to that. I already have something like 20 gigabits of RAM on my computer. If you have more RAM, that would be much nicer, but I believe that 12 gigabits is going to be more than enough for you. And you see that uh, because my CPU has four cores, I have given this one CPU with four cores or four CPUs with one core, doesn't really matter what, it's going to give you total processor cores of four. Also, you have something like Virtualize, Intel, VT, if you want to, you can click on that and make sure that everything is working. You might see something like Disable Acceleration. If, if you see something weird happening, like, for example, routers or switches, start and then stop, what you need to do is to come here and just disable that. But in this version of uh, VMware, you do not really see this. And then you can go and uh, assign some other thing. For example, the network adapter, which I am going to use here is NAT. There is another one here that, is, that says bridged. I'm not going to have this. I'm going to remove this because only one network adapter is going to be enough for me. Also the display, it doesn't really matter. So uh, you can have some more options here, but everything is going to be okay. So I'm going to click on okay. and. Uh, do it this way. So after that, what I need to do is to start my virtual machine. If you already have configured the network adapter for NAT, for example, which I have chosen here, that is going to give you the IP address to your virtual machine. If you haven't, all you need to do is to go to edit, virtual network editor here, 
and VirtualBox there is something else I believe but uh, here that is the virtual network editor I'm going to click on change setting here there is a shield that says it needs administrative uh, privileges so I'm going to click on change setting to get these administrative privileges now you see that I can modify everything here because I have chosen NAT I click on NAT here and here you see that the subnet that I have allocated to this is 10 10 10 0 with 24 bit subnet mask also, I need to click on DHCP settings balance uh, so that I can uh, choose what the starting IP is going to be and what the ending IP is going to be. And the least time, the least time is okay. It doesn't really matter. It is two hours, but it's going to re renew the IP address after this. Uh, and also, I can just increase this, for example, to eight days or something like that. It doesn't really matter here. I'm going to cancel out and click on cancel here because I have done everything before, but you can change the IP and subnet mask to anything that you wish to have. And then you can start this virtual machine. I'm going to start this and it's going to take a while to boot up. And then it's going to give you this window. You see that it says use HTTP or HTTPS. 10, 10, 10, 19, that's the IP address that it has received from DHCP from the VMware workstation. Now, you can do everything here in this window, the terminal that is giving you, but I'm going to choose a terminal program to connect to this using SSH. So the IP address is 10, 10, 10, 19, and it already says that the default uh, root password is PNET. So I have the username and I have the password to SSH to this. Uh, virtual machine. So what I'm going to do is to open a terminal program like Secure CRT or PuTTY or Secure PuTTY or any other terminal program that you use like uh, TerraTerm I believe. I'm going to click on Quick Connect as a matter of fact. So it opens this window. I'm going to choose SSH2 here. The host name is 10 10 10 19. That's the IP address that it gave me. The port is going to be 22 and the username is going to be root so i just type root and i'm going to click on connect and then it says the certificate is not a valid certificate but there is a certificate i'm going to accept and save the certificate then the password is going to be pnet so i just type pnet and i'm going to click on save password so that later if i wanted to connect to this uh virtual machine that's going to be okay for me so i click on okay and now it gives me this window so if i hit enter that's it. I have connected to my virtual machine. So what I need to do here is to download some images. Like I said, you can download images without worrying about the license or without worrying about where to find those images. So all you need to use is a program which is called iShare. And it is already installed in this peanut lab virtual machine. So all I need to do is to type iShare. And I'm going to type iShare search. And after that, press enter. It's going to give me uh, how I can use iShare. It says that choose what you want to have. Uh, first of all, type iShare and then type the action. I already typed the action. The action that I wanted was search, but you can have pull, you can have detail, you can have help, everything. Pull is for downloading the image that you want. Now, it has given you some examples. For example, if you want to have VIOS, all you need to do is to type iShare search VIOS, and it's going to give you everything that you want. So I'm going to type this iShare search VIOS. I hit enter, and then it's going to give you a list of images that is here provided for you. You can easily just type the name and it's going to pull it for you and install it here. And it's going to check the permissions and everything is going to be done in just one command. So let's say that this is the one which I want to. So I'm going to copy that. And one thing that is interesting here is this. If you use the window that you have here, you cannot really copy the image names which are already long and, and it's kind of cryptic and that's going to be a little problem. But here you can see that I can easily copy that. So I just type I share pull and then paste the name of the image and hit enter. All you need to do is that and that's going to start the download for you and it's going to take some while but after that that's uh, going to be downloaded. So here it says uh, sorry the file cannot be downloaded maybe too many users are downloading. You choose 
a good time of the day for example after midnight or in the early morning to download because at that time that's going to be much better but here it is afternoon and i believe that there are too many users downloading these ios um, images now that uh, you know how to download the images that you want and install everything all you need to do is to connect to this what you need to do is to type 10 10 10 for example 19 this is the IP address that I have received from my virtual machine and hit enter so you're going to be taken to this page here it says new free labs there are the free labs that are uploaded uh, recently also you can pay for some of the labs that are here I'm going to find some other labs, so I just click on go to store and it's going to take me to another page. And here it gives me a lot of, you know, uh, categories on the left. You see that, for example, I can just search for CCNA, CCIE, uh, different, of course, uh, roads, uh, CCMP, Juniper, and a lot of other things. For example, SD1, MPLS, OSP, lots of uh, different labs that you can find here some of them are free some of them are paid you can create labs and also sell them here which is very interesting you can see that it tells you how many people have bought or have downloaded these kind of labs here so this is where you just choose and download the labs so that was an introduction to peanut lab like i said and another video i'm going to show you how we can create peanut labs labs inside our uh, environment and I'm going to show you a lot of nice features that improve the beauty of your labs like curved lines for the links the shapes different icons that you can have and, and pictures and everything that you want to have I'm going to show you how you can have them in your environment